Hey, P.S., great, the last digit of your like on this video is someone from the meme background, and the last digit of your subscription to my channel will show your subject from the meme background. So come down right now, subscribe and like. Look at the screen, pay attention to the last digit of your like and your subscription. And write someone from chalk background in the comments. It's simple, if your like is the 8th, and the last digit of the subscription is number 5, then you are a lemon with a cactus. Show your imagination and enjoy your viewing. And great, great, dear friends, you're on the Melon Fong channel. In this video, you and I will talk about the new update 15.1.100. In general, this is a very interesting update, but before the start of the video, as always, I would like to say a huge thank you to these guys for getting into my videos and if you want to get into my next video, then everything is quite simple. You need to subscribe to the channel, like it, write your top comment. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the cart, the link is as always in the description. In general, I will not drag out your time and enjoy your viewing. And today we have an update 15.1.100, which is actually quite strange and this has never been in it before, but this does not make it any less interesting. Before we start talking about what exactly came out in the new update, we will contact the official developer's Discord server and read one very interesting message. And this message was written by one of the managers of Chalk Blackground. So, what does it say? Hi guys, you will see a new update available soon. But we have to ask you not to update the game yet. In the new update, we had to remove some items. And while you can get some of them back with mods, it's still wrong and not perfect. So please, if possible, do not update the game. And I want to tell you and advise exactly the same thing that the developers advised you to do. Don't update the game yet and just check out my review. All this is done for a reason, it's all done in order to simply test the game and how it will work on the Play Market platform. Not only is this beta testing, but it is also a test of how well it will all work correctly. Therefore, do not update the game, do not spoil your impression, because the next update promises to be the most global in the history of the Chalk Playground. And let's see what we have added at this stage and what we have removed at this stage. And going into the game, we can now see a blue menu. And most likely this design is for beta testers. That is, it's just some kind of beta test that was posted purely to check how the game works and how it leads us to this site, how well everything is optimized. In general, do not update yet. And if we go to the no ES overlay, we can see there we have new political agreements for a new play duck company. They left, but advertising appeared and now we have a duck, in which there is still an advertising agreement, so that everything is according to the law and correctly, so that everything is crystal clear. And it seems to me that this is a very cool and correct approach. Now let's see what we have added. And the most interesting thing is that a new character has been added. Despite the fact that the developers themselves stated that we will never have new characters now, it still happened. And everyone thought it would be a cactus. To be honest, I myself assumed exactly the same outcome, but we have added a robot. And a robot as cool, beautiful, and really interesting as possible. Personally, it reminds me of a robot from Futurama, agree there is some kind of analogy in it, such a cartoon drawing. And to be honest, he's just as cool as possible and just really impresses me. The textures are very well worked out and we can also notice how the light is very well worked out, despite the fact that we basically have no lighting, but it is the position of the light on the texture that is worked out as correctly as possible. Also, if you are interested, we have added new items. These are base short and base X. This is also done for a reason. If you turn to the translator, then base means standard or basic in a different way. So we can understand that these are just swords for testing and it all comes down to one thing, this is just a tested game and soon we will see a real update release under the auspices of 16.0 or 15.5, but it will be interesting enough and we'll see what we see there. Well, most likely, as we can understand already at this stage, we can see that a robot will be added, some cool guns will be added that are connected with robots, and we can also find out what the APC will add. It's all there on the official page in the Play Store. In general, it is quite cool and interesting. 
By the way, these are the weapons, revolvers and so on, they are essentially quite standard. But let's turn back to robots. They die very interestingly, they get this kind of something like oil looks like, I do not know how to describe it. It probably looks more like oil or some kind of liquid inside the robot. And it just looks really cool. To be honest, I went as far as possible. Despite the fact that this is the most crude and strange update and the hitboxes of the robot are not very worked out, but still at this stage I really like everything and I'm just looking forward to how cool the new update will be. Now let's talk about what was removed at this stage. They removed all the main characters just to test the robot, and also removed the backgrounds, some maps, some items, and a lot of other things, too, at this stage of the update. So do not download and do not spoil your cool impression of the future update. All this is just some kind of beta test for developers. So I'm relying on your sanity and don't do it yet just to enjoy the future game as much as possible. All this promises to be interesting. Well, this is where my video comes to an end. Thank you all for watching, good luck to everyone, bye to everyone. You were on the Melanie Background channel and as always, I'll see you one of these days.